Hello and a good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you, the good and wonderful people of the Chew Purple World today. Hope you're doing good and and also very well. Hello, there we go. Today's video is another gig vlog. We are we are playing tonight with the Days from Show at the gorgeous Prairie Hotel in Louth, Lincolnshire, which is where we are now, uh, my hometown, and we is literally five seconds down the road, so that is awesome. Uh, so yeah, basically I thought I'd film the whole thing, uh, there will be some live footage, I'll be setting up sound check footage, uh, other bits and pieces here and there probably. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy this vid people with YouTube, so without further ado, let's go. Oh by the way, it is, um, because tonight uh, we're, we're the only band and we've got a supplier MPA and this that kind of thing, it is at this point in time 10, uh, 20 to 11. And uh, we're going to get there for about 12 o'clock to get everything set up. It's going to take a good few hours uh, for us to get everything set up. Guitar amps, bass amps, uh, drum kit, uh, PA, and then get it all set up, sounding right, and uh, done so. Well, basically, it's going to be a full day thing. Is it? So I'm going to try and get as much footage of that as, as I can humanly do while being really a busy bunny as well and running around and doing all sorts of other stuff. Anyway, uh, enough talking, Dave. Let's go. Okay, I thought I'd give you a bit of a rundown of what we've got in the van here. So we're all loaded in, just finished loading in. So we have guitars here. So this is my gold top, this is Queenie's Anaconda bass. And that's her Schechter bass. That's the ST62. And that's the Chapman. The gloves, which are always in need. Uh, this this box here is full of uh, PA stuff, basically. So all mic leads, microphones, PA-wise, you name it, it's in there. Uh, these are PA speakers, a Celestian... Road series. Uh, I really like these speakers. They're really, really cool. They're not overly heavy, but they're big, massive, 15-inch speakers, full range, very, very powerful speakers. Um, that's Queenie's and a uh, sorry, Queenie's uh, Ashdown cab, 412, 410 cab. There's my Orange Crush cab. It's it's a 412, but I've only got two speakers in it. I think it's 410. Spare Orange Terra bass head there, just in case anything goes wrong with the Ashdown. Uh, over here. Mine and Queenie's pedal boards, mine's on the left, Queenie's on the right. Uh, guitar rack there. Um, uh, monitor, vocal monitor, uh, another vocal monitor, that's Queenie's lead bag, that's super reverb there. Underneath the lead bag there we have the Ashdown ABM 600 head Queenie's and the orange uh, CR120. Under the monitor here I have my PA head which is a Behringer. Uh, PMP something or another, you'll see that in a bit. All the uh, stands and stuff are down there, so you've got speaker stands, mic stands, um, extension leads, uh, a hat, which I like wearing, uh, and that's your lot. And I say, what we've basically got to do now is, so we've loaded all this stuff into the van from my house, uh, once we get to the venue, we have to load all this stuff out the van into the venue, set it all up, get it all sound checked, and then after the gig, we have to pack it all down, get it in back here, and then we have to get it all back in the house again uh, before we go to bed. So, uh, so yeah, it's it's knackering. It's knackering. We are we are the roadies, sound crew, light crew, everything crew. We are everything. Anyway, I thought I'd uh, let you know what we've got in here. So uh, and binoculars, uh, which are always important for seeing the back of the uh, immense crowds we play to. Um, anyway, <laughs> moving along. Uh, yeah, let's go to the venue. Chalk. Oh. 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 
swear word son of a mother <laughs> so John just just arrived there's all the drum stuff here Queenie over there I could this... it. where is she where's she gone so this is my world for the evening I don't know I... one second there we go a bit brighter so my world for the evening monitor pedalboard amp set up using the orange and the fender daisy chain together um, running both clean pedals do all the heavy lifting PA there Queenie Lando there, no one's interested in four strings. Yeah, we'll see it in a minute. Uh, and John Joe will be hither. And he's coming now. Let's go find him. Find the drama. He's here somewhere. Artwork. There he is. I remember that I bought a massive drum kit. I thought I had it all there. <laughs> bought my normal drum kit that I take to gigs. Mega. Big then kit. You said bring the whole thing, so I oh, yeah. remembered that I've got them to bring as well. Big kit, big kit. Big lad. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big kit evening, you know what I mean? Get my rider. Uh, yeah, there's all the cocaine and heroin, there's plenty of needles. Uh, the prostitutes are coming in five minutes. Bonk. Okay. Oh, we've got all the brown M&Ms as well. <laughs> Only the brown M&Ms. Only the brown M&Ms. Okay. Okay. Sound check. Yes, sound check, take 27915. Action. I don't like me, John. that sound check take? What time is it? Uh, uh, oh god, it's 10 to 4. It's 10 to and 4. we got here at about 12. I'm going to make the volume go down. There we go. Yeah, 
yeah. ten to four. We got here at twelve. We've just finished. Yeah, sound check was an absolute beast because the rooms all hard surfaces. There's no stop. There's no soft things to, to soak it up. So we've been having issues. We we running off back line. So we were energy uh, initially mic'd up. So we had the bass and the guitar going through the PA. That didn't work. It was just causing mass feedback issues. So we're just going off back line. We just cranked the amps basically. Uh, there's John I was just admiring how much hands were happening then. Oh, there's a lot, there's a lot the of hand work going on. Is the camera picking that up? Whoa, Margaret. I better be doing it. Margaret, yeah. Golami. Golami. Dominic de Coco. Let me hear the music in it. Dominic de Coco. <laughs> So yeah, anyway, off the back line, uh, instead, we were having mass, fee- uh, mass feedback issues with frequencies that were there one minute and then weren't there the next. And I, was, I literally nearly put my guitar through the PA at one point because I had frustration. Like, it got close. My brain, when I saw you taking it off and my brain went, one of two things is going to happen. He's going to get close to doing it or he's actually about to smash something through his PA. Yeah, it was... It was very close, actually. It, it was, was very close. I was like, close. where's this going? I think, like, literally, I came to my senses about there. Literally, the headstock was, like, maybe about a millimetre from the, the front of the PA. But it was just so frustrating because we would get, like, one frequency feeding back and then that would go away and another one would appear... And then we get rid of that one, and then the other one would come back, and then we go around, and then a whole new one would appear, like an unwanted pest. <laughs> anyway, we're sorted now. Monitors are an absolute nightmare in a room like this as well. It's hard to get them loud enough, but we're all good. Drums are too quiet. Drums are way too quiet. We've had to, like, like <laughs> we're, we're micing them all up, you see. So we've got invisible microphones here that you can't actually see them, but they are there. I'll, I'll just move that one on. Okay, so, uh, oh, I know what did you mean? I moved the invisible microphone. Oh, okay. It's not. It's <laughs> on. Hang on a I minute. thought you'd actually move it. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting stretched out there, like, what's it the doing? Symbol vision. <laughs> anyway, uh, so he's distracted. But yeah, uh, another issue we're having as well is because they've got the drum riser, the drums are so high, they're just absolutely projecting out and beasting the volume, but all's well now. All's well now. So, uh, Everything's set the way it is. Uh, yeah, but we've got to wait now. No more playing. We don't have to play now until we play later on. So it's relax time. And we get to eat soon. I need to lie down. Is it a good angle? Is that a good angle for later? I hope so. Make sure you get okay. Greg's logo in. Make sure you get oh, yeah. an endorsement deal. Yeah, so just so you know now, like you can see John Joe's endorsed by Greg's. For people who don't live in England... Well, no, but soon free sausage rolls and steak bakes for the trio. So I feel I need to explain this little fella who appeared in the Wiki Game video and has appeared at every gig we've done uh, with Queenie. So this uh, is Mini Mayer. As you can see, he, he wants to know if, do you love crabs? He is a crab um, enthusiast. I think he, he does, doesn't he? He absolutely he will not. The only reason he shuts up about crabs now is because, well, he's tired and he's actually asleep now. This is what he looks like when he's asleep. Anyway, he lives here for now, but he tends to move around a lot during the gig. But Mini Mayor came about because of what? I can't remember. He just turned up at a rehearsal. He did, didn't he? He just walked in. <laughs> like, just, the door opened and in, in he walked, just kind of like shambling in. He's and, basically uh, the fourth member. He is the fourth member. He's the only reason we sound... He's uh, a any good? He is. He is. Yeah, he's literally like that. Is where all the tone lies in Mini Mayor. The Mini. tone crab. The tone crab Mayor. But anyway, Mini Mayor has been to every gig so far, and he is our little unofficial band mascot. So uh, that's Mini Mayor. Keep keep an eye out for him because he'll move around during the gig. See if you can see him. See if you can see him move. He's very stealthy, but he's very good at like hiding. And being sneaky, he could be in Queen's like hair right now. No, he's not. He makes less noise than I do when I Indeed. move. It's a hair blindfold. Anyway. Right, synchronised vlogging. <laughs> this is synchronised vlogging. So you, to see yeah. Queenie's version, you have to go yeah, to her channel. Sure and then to see John Joe's, you have to go to his channel. Oh, cheers, Dave. Thanks for the link. Yes. <laughs> John Joe go Gaskin. To, go to John Joe Gaskin. Jaskin. John, 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 John Joe Gaskin. <laughs> Yeah, anyway. so you two need a bit of help as well. Uh, go to CC Base on YouTube. <laughs> go to at Dave Simpson 1986 on Instagram. 
Yeah, mate. Is it not? I've just made it to 5,000 followers. Ooh, 5,000. I made it to 500. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Anyway, there's not many venues where you get looked after like this. So, what was it? So, like a Cajun chicken thing, wasn't it? Yeah, with like the garlic. Tomato Gar- sauce. Yeah, garlic tomato sauce. You got like all sorts of crazy stuff. And this is amazing. Cutlery. We have like yeah. multiple cutlery, which means it's posh. Yeah, that is crazy. I look so good, don't I? It's sm- literally. It's smell. If you uh, get the smell on YouTube. Yeah, I wish there was smell of it. I know. You- YouTube, smell of vision, please. This is literally ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. I'm just using Dave's style of now. That's what I was doing with YouTube. I was letting you talk while I was like doing the sway panel. No. The slow pan on me scram. People will see that on your channel. It's like it's like Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio's going to be walking with it. It's like Inception. <laughs> anyway, I don't know why we're doing this and not eating. Let's eat, shall we? <laughs> oh, could it with me too? And me. So, I, I didn't finish it. I got defeated, but... I'm so full. That was so amazingly amazing. There isn't many venues where you get like meals like if any venues you get meals cooked for you like this in a room as, as gorgeous as this one. Did we talk about what I had last time? Uh, I don't think we did no, actually. We went no, we vlog did it. We just did the gig. We just did the gig. So yeah, last time we were here, we got um, we were supporting a band from the US called Porcelain Hill. <coughs> and after we finished our set, Paul, the owner of the priory, uh, he cooked uh, for us again. This is uh, Paul's handiwork here. The man's like literally one of the best chefs in the world and um, he cooked for us then and he gave us a choice of two burgers there was wild boar burger which me and Queenie had and then there was John Joe crocodile <laughs> so John Joe <laughs> let me just there uh, I want to be in on the shop so John Joe had crocodile burger and we all tried it oh it was delicious it was so good it was, it was so nice it, was, it wasn't what I expected either I thought crocodile would be a bit more um, like chickeny texture. chickeny yeah it wasn't, it was really kind of like uh, fish. It was yeah. really like, it was Taste like of chicken, but consistency of fish. Yeah. yeah. So nice. It was, it was like it uh, flaky, wasn't it? Yeah. Like it crumbled. And, like. Then, and then we had that pudding. <laughs> yeah, and then we had oh, pudding. God, the pudding, I can still taste it. <laughs> yeah, we had I- I- ice cream and this like chocolate kind of like sponge pudding, which uh, I don't think I'll be able to eat today because I have to sing and chocolate and ice cream are not things to help sing. you sing <laughs> so these two can have chocolate and ice cream well uh, i'm on the great. limit yeah queenie has to live herself because she has to sing a little bit but she doesn't have to sing till the second set <laughs> so she's all right whereas me no chocolate in for dinner baby this <laughs> the best thing it is i tell you fireplace fireplace there fireplace there. don't you hey tell them about the water oh yeah and the water here so we, you get this, well, well that, that's like that's like some kind of like prop from Indiana Jones. <laughs> Indiana Jones and the, and the uh, crystal water. Um, there's a natural spring down the bottom of this garden, a uh, natural water spring, and it's, it's really, uh, the water's really high in um, iron content, and the water tastes really nice, apparently. I can't drink water, but Queen and John just say it's really, oh, really delicious. nice. Yeah, so you can't pour get, water. Get, get in on this action here. Check this out. No! Oh, no it's oh, all around. Oh, it's terrible, terrible. Look at that. Oh, we're clear that. It's a bit slow, man. Ooh, yeah. I tried. <laughs> but yeah, it's really high in iron, so apparently it tastes really nice, but I can't drink water, so. A little, a little unknown Dave Simpson fact Dave can't drink water because it makes him gag, which is very depressing. Anyway, that was just incredible. And that water is... <laughs> Slurpalicious. Stay hydrated.
Right then, Karina, what are we going to do then about this John Joe Gaskin experience? When are we going to leave Dave? Uh, I think after tonight. After tonight? Well, this is the last one. Yeah. Right, I'll let you tell him. I'll let you tell him. I'm stealing you for the John Joe Gaskin experience. um, And we'll make him be our guitarist from now on. (laughs) How does that sound? And I'll turn all his mids down. Yeah, we'll turn all his mids down to zero. And he's using valve amps. (laughs) (laughs) No more of this solid state crap. And you can get rid of your pedals, mate. He's coming back. Okay, so by the way, uh, our drummer is sponsored by Greg's. <laughs> I'm not yet, I'm trying to. Where did that sausage roll come from earlier? It's like you just put your hand inside the bass drum and it's like the sausage rolls, pasties. It's brilliant, there's like a microwave. In. <laughs> there's a pedal, you press a pedal and it shoots one up. I didn't ask for a steak baked dunk. John Joe did, actually. <laughs> yeah, we don't need drum endorsements, we need Greg's. And pepperami. And bananas. Although I don't have any bananas tonight, because I need my shipment fell through. Anyway. <laughs> okay, so this next song is called Are You Alright? Sure, that's okay. Are you all right, PA? Yeah? Good? Okay. Yeah. 
Ah, you see. Now, Dave's gone down the tuning and I've gone up a tuning. <laughs> no, I've just readied my guitar for the next song. <laughs> if I had a guitar tech, none of that would have ever happened. This song is extremely happy. No, it's not. Um, okay, so this song is the first song I ever wrote, and um, it kind of lingered around for a long time. I wrote this song in 2004, and uh, I, I just started playing guitar. I was like two years into playing guitar, and this is the first kind of foray into writing songs, and it's kind of survived. And um, it was all. I, always, I, I, I never know if it's like you know wise thing to say what songs are about or not, because a lot of my subject titles are ex a lot of my lyrics and all my songs that I write are very very dark subjects. So it's always kind of like you know if you say it, is it just going to ruin people? Like, oh bloody hell, I'm off. Kill joy. Uh, this one this one's kind of important though to me because it's all about um, my time at school, which was not great, uh, and it, I just vented it in this song. It's called Overcome and it's an ironic title because uh, you never do <laughs> uh, overcome these things. You just kind of find a way to coexist with what happened in, in, in past life. And uh, this was like, my first kind of four inch writing songs and like I say it just I remember I came up came out I was at college and came home and sit down on the guitar and hey the song came out with the lyrics and everything. So I hope you really like this one, it's called Overcome, and it's very, very dark.
next song is really, really dog. <laughs> yes, it is. Thank you very much. Goodbye.
hope you enjoyed the gig vlog. Hope you enjoyed the gig and the shenanigans. Go and check out Queen Ian John Joe's video. And uh for a different angle and uh see you again! Bye bye! <laughs>